Welcome to Dangan Island. Panic at the heart throbbing school trip? And. Surviving student 16. Maybe this time it'll stay at that number. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Can we? <laughs> Can I <laughs> Ryan? Dang <laughs> 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 <laughs>Hello everyone and welcome back to 4 Pixels. All your pixels are here with our guest Ryan and we are continuing Danganronpa after having to put it on pause for a while like we do with so many other things. <laughs> uh, two things I'm going to say off the bat. Uh, Kanetsu and myself were both kind of sick so please uh, don't mind the sniffles. Kind of as in they're both dying. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and number two, I forgot to do this the last time we recorded, and it, since it's been so long now, I don't even remember everything that I was uh, thinking about, but I wrote down some shorthand notes about my Ooh, ideas cool. and predictions and whatnot. Ooh, cool. uh, they might be a little all over the place, as I said, since it's been a long time since I've actually bothered thinking about this and looking at these, but I'll, I'll just read them as is. So number one, I think this takes place in the past, assuming that Kometa is telling the truth that there is only one lucky student per year, then this means this can't be happening simultaneously towards uh, first games class. Uh, given that they were the last that attended Hope's Peaks since it closed the following, then they have to be from a previous class. Also, Kameda mentioned how Nidai coached quote quote that famous Japanese baseball player, maybe that's a reference to Kawada, and obviously that wouldn't be able to be the case afterwards since Leon is dead. Uh, number two, Usami isn't gone for good, much like there were multiple Monokumas, maybe there are multiple Usamis, especially since that's just presumably a robot that's being controlled, she's fine. Number three, predicting that Teru Teru would die from poison. Okay, that's less a prediction and more a hope. <laughs> <laughs> a hope? <laughs> a hope. Oh, wow. A hope. <laughs> number four. Fucking if, rape Teru Teru. If number one is true, that means that Junko is still alive, which means she might be behind Monokuma here too. Number five, there are a lot of parallels between the characters here and character in the first game. The obvious one is Naegi and Hinata, who are obsessed with calling themselves normal. Uh, then there's Komeida and Junko, who kind of have similar hair and just a similar facial appearance. Um, there's Sonia and Sayaka, who have the whole sort of ideal princess, you know, delicate girl thing going on. Uh, there is Nekumaro and Mondo, who are the big beefy dudes, who like yelling a lot. There's Akane and Hina, who are voluptuous, dark-skinned girls who are super athletic, and they both started out forgetting people's names. <laughs> There's Chiaki and Chihiro, who are both kind of similar in appearance with the short brown hair and small stature and both being into sort of geeky type things. Uh, there's a parallel between Hinata and Kyoko too in that neither of them remember their ultimates and Komeida and Nagi are both the lucky students. Uh, what was else? Um, there is a parallel between Sakura and... I can't remember his name, but he's sort of the ultimate part of the Mafia guy? Uh, Kazuria? I think yeah. so. Yeah, that because guy. he... Like, Sakura, you know, she is this woman that a bunch of people kept mistaking for a guy. And then you have him who is a man, but everyone like goes around talking about how he has a baby face. Uh, let's see. If number six is true, that means Mukuro is also alive and will play a bigger role in this game. Maybe she controls Usami. That could mean that Manokuma's whole diatribe about her being a little sister could be a hint at this. Number seven, I'm legitimately terrified the Monoflower will come into play. 
Uh, I don't know why I wrote that, but it's still true. <laughs> and eight questions. Yeah, the island is uninhabited. No one but Hinata was really questioning how incorrect that is. What happened to the people there before? And number nine, my ultimate prediction for this is this game is Sakura's Revenge. <laughs> <laughs> Your prediction's killed Ryan. <laughs> Ryan confirmed first kill. Give <laughs> you that trap tie. <laughs> Welcome back. All right, but yes, that's that's those were my thoughts. <laughs> yeah. We say nothing. <laughs> Should I should I read or yes? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone else looked the same. I can't remember which scene which scene we were we in, but whatever. Um, Usami <laughs> just got killed. All right. <laughs> and okay. the mon beast <laughs> appeared. <laughs> we all had this dire expression on our pale faces. Usami. What just happened? It, uh... Um, um. Uh, I just won't believe it. That that's it. That that's all there is to it. <laughs> It'd be one thing if we were up against a human or even an animal. <laughs> what the hell can we do against a monster like that? It's impossible! Why is something impossible happening? I can't remember the bot I did for that dude. <laughs> well, It'll come. It's not really impossible. Those mono beasts or whatever they're called are machines. Thus, monokimum. Oh, I don't think I can do this voice. <laughs> must also be the same. Diago, yeah, do you feel okay? <laughs> no, I've got the sniffles. <laughs> as long as they're machines, it means someone made them and is controlling them. But they will have a Koko and Konetsu being sick, it immediately makes like half the cast of Danganronpa sick. <laughs> <laughs> Who could be responsible? What were we put into this unexplainable situation? Hey, who is it? Who? Uh huh. Uh -huh. I could be. It's not like I believe it anyway. There's no way I'd believe something like that. More important, are you guys hungry? Let's stop thinking about this and just eat. You can eat first. Eager. No matter how confused or upset you are, I don't mind. However, remember this. I don't know who in the world is orchestrating this, but... This but? <laughs> 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 Sorry, that's what I heard. <laughs> we don't need to be cautious of those machines, or even of who's ever controlling them. More than anything, we must be cautious of. Ourselves. Once again, Byaku is the first to, like, make the paranoia kick off. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Being brought to a tropical island with complete strangers. In order to kill each other to escape. So I have to get out of it. That's what I'm taking a kill. I'm going to get out of it. That great fear in our minds and the desire to escape that hopeless fear. Or a touch no side. I know taking under is our worst enemy. We look around at each other's faces. It was obvious from looking at their expressions. Everyone was forced to admit the truth of what he just said. 
We had to be honest with ourselves and admit that we also had that potential. Only a student who kills a classmate can escape this island. Which means in order to escape this hopeless situation, we must sacrifice a person. However, there's a possibility that a killing may never occur, but... Even I'm no different. So can I be truly confident that something like that isn't gonna happen? No, there's no way I can know for sure. In this nightmare of a situation, I don't have the confidence to say that outright. Once you're suspicious of some once you're suspicious of something, you'll start to be suspicious of everything. Even of yourself. That's why it felt so hopeless. That day became a day unlike any other. A day which held a more significant meaning. It was a special day. A very meaningful day full of despair. That was the beginning. The killing school trip had begun, and this tropical island was the stage. So good. Oh, it gives me chills every time. I love it. I saw some very weird things happening there. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Dangan Island. Panic at the heart throbbing school trip. And surviving a student, 16. Maybe this time it'll stay at that number. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ha 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 Oh! Rule 5. Once a murder takes place, a class trial will begin shortly thereafter. Participation is mandatory for all surviving students. I know I've said this before, but I love your Monokuma voice. <laughs> oh, yes. thank you. So good. Rule 6. If the blacken is exposed during the class trial, they alone will be executed. Rule 7. If the black end is not exposed, the remaining students will be executed. Rule 8. 
As a reward, the surviving Blackened will be forgiven for their crime and allowed to leave the island. Rule 9. The body discovery announcement will play as soon as three or more people discover a body for the first time. Rule 10. Destroying any property on this island without permission is expressly prohibited. This includes the surveillance cameras and monitors. Rule 11. Oh god, how many more? <laughs> you are free to investigate this island at your own discretion. Your actions in this regard are not limited. <laughs> like even Monokuma is looking at his stack of papers like, Oh gosh, why did I write so many? <laughs> <laughs> Last rule. Additional school trip rules may be added at the headmaster's discretion. As I raised my head from the e-handbook with a heavy sigh, I saw the dark corridor of the hotel. I sat on the bench, paralyzed with thought. Is he really going to make us do this? There was no way I could believe that this was now my reality. Even so, this was undeniably real. No matter how much I didn't want to believe it, the moment I experienced and felt it, felt it for myself. It became undeniably real. This... It's a reality that could not be more different from my usual daily life. School, studying, exams, job hunting, going for walks, going to school, riding the train, lectures. That kind of daily life is no longer mine. Dot dot dot. As I looked up, I saw stars glimmering in the night, covering the sky like a sheet. They look as if they were about to fall into my hands like flooring of snow. For the first time since I arrived at this island, instead of the night sky I'd grown accustomed to, I saw a night sky that was far too beautiful. As I stared blankly into that night sky, I suddenly imagined those words in my mind. The student who murdered their classmate will be able to leave this island. When we were forced to hear those words, we just stood there silently. Nobody said a word, and eventually... Everyone scattered and vanished. And it led us straight onto the first night. A night so beautiful it enchanted me. And yet, my heart was horribly upset. That kind of beauty was definitely far different than my usual daily life. Chapter 1 Nice chapter, boys. Thank you. Ahem. <laughs> Hope's Peak Academy School Trip Executive Committee has an announcement to make. I want that drink. Me too. Try to get it from him. No! <laughs> It is now 10 p.m. <laughs> Nighttime can be confusing. If you're out at night and accidentally meet a killer, then it sucks to be you. But if you're worried about that and can't sleep, I've prepared a cottage on the hotel grounds, grounds for each of you. <laughs> e 
every single one of you, please feel free to rest in your own rooms. However, before you go to bed, I strongly recommend you lock your doors. You never know who might be planning to kill you! <laughs> bye bye! Bye nada. Bye nada. Damn. That's ominous. I thought that said that's onions. Hmm, <laughs> <laughs> onions. Onions, <laughs> ominous. <laughs> Same thing. Hmm. A courage, huh? Anyone else around? No. It's 10 p.m. Coco, it's time to sleep. I would have worked, yeah. Well, that's cozy. Damn it! I think he, Hinata doesn't think the same. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's a little pansy, so you gotta be surrounded by people who might kill you, whatever. Well, he's got no blankets, no pillow. <laughs> as soon as I enter the cottage, I collapse onto the bed. What the hell? As I scream silently to myself, I burn my head in my arms. I didn't want to see anyone anymore. I just wanted to be alone forever. I have nobody I can trust. Because even if I want to trust them, I don't know anything about them yet. The only person I can trust is myself. No, even I don't believe that. In truth, after I was forced to hear that dumb rule, you can't leave unless you kill someone. I realized there's a part of me that really wants to get off this island. And at that moment, I let out a scream. Insert scream here. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, thank you. A scream erupted from my mouth. Again? <laughs> <laughs> Everyone just screams. Everyone in their cottage just screaming at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> musical time! <laughs> Down the run for the musical. I just imagine, like, Hinata's neighbors, like, I don't know who's next to him in their cottages, but they're probably like, Oh no, someone's dying already! <laughs> <laughs> it rushed from my mouth like water from a collapsed dam. <laughs> Why me? Why do I have to go through with this? Ah! Oh. Nice. <laughs> I began to lose my voice, and it faded entirely not long after. That was a long scream. <laughs> Everyone just trying desperately hard to mind <laughs> their own business. <laughs> <laughs> like peeking through the window. Is he okay? <laughs> What followed was silence. Is he constipated? <laughs> <laughs> no, not complete silence. I heard the faint sound of crashing waves in the distance. As if the waves were murmuring into my ears. 
this is no longer the world you knew. And once again, I buried my head in my arms. With all that screaming, I got reminded of the, the, the screaming cowboys of that song. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know the screaming... The screaming cowboys? I'll, I'll send them to you afterwards. <laughs> yeah, when we finish this episode. <laughs> Why am I here? What am I doing here? I forced my eyes shut. I wasn't tired or anything, but I just wanted to sleep, if only for a short while. I wanted to put an end to it all. And if, by chance, I managed to wake up the next day, it would be awesome if I was back to my normal life. You know, I just realized, among those rules, they didn't have the rule from the first game that said you could only kill two people maximum. So if you wanted to, Hinata, you could. <laughs> <laughs> With these meager expectations, I fell into a light sleep. Oh yeah! Ho -ho! I'm back! Ahem! <laughs> to those of you who purchased Danganronpa 2, good goodbye despair! Thank you very much! You're welcome! To those of you who are borrowing Danganronpa 2 Goodbye Despair from a friend. You always risk losing friends when you borrow their things, so you should buy your own copy just to be safe. <laughs> <laughs> to those now. of you who are pirating Danganronpa 2, <laughs> I'm coming for you! <laughs> now That's... then, it's been a while since the main story started. So I'll give the keynote address right now. From now on, I promise you'll be charmed by this world. It genuinely deserves to be called a true game. So, make sure you get excited and immerse yourself in the heart-throbbing action to your heart's content. Now then, until the very end, please enjoy this game to the fullest. We're gonna have so much fun. Thanks, Kodaka. <laughs> Fuck you, Kodaka. <laughs> Ahem. Hope's Peak Academy School Trip Executive Committee has an announcement to make. <laughs> Good morning, everyone! Looks like today is going to be another perfect tropical day! Now then, let's show some enthusiasm and make sure to give it all a gig gig! <laughs> <laughs> Stop drinking, Monokuma! <laughs> Do your best! It's not even 5pm, gosh. <laughs> To this day, I still remember the Oh Myra, good morning! <laughs> so clearly. <laughs> oh Myra, good morning! <laughs> <laughs> so, it definitely wasn't a dream after all. I was forced to acknowledge that yet again, which put me in a bad mood from the get go. I guess for now. I should go outside. No, no, no! You're not allowed to go out! Morokuma, why are you here? Hey now, don't be so worried. I'm here for fun reason. Oh no. Uh, fun. Fun reasons? <laughs> Put down the loop, Monokuma! <laughs> <laughs> I want you to find my stuffed animal. I got ahead of myself. But I thought it'd be a waste to just throw them away, so I've hidden them all over the island. 
They're scattered all over various areas, so you just go right ahead and look for them all. Why do I have to do something like that? Cause I said so! You can't say no! I've already hidden one of them in this room, and I won't let you out until you find it. Good luck! Armpit flower. <laughs> Damn it, that selfish stuffed animal. What is this? It looks like a shelf. I feel like I shouldn't put anything here. Wherever I go, there are surveillance cameras all over the place. Whoever's controlling Monokuma must be monitoring us with these cameras too. It pisses me off to think I'm being watched by a lunatic. But there's nothing I can do about it. Isn't he beautiful? <laughs> Good job! I've also left you some Mono coins. I'm so generous! These coins can be exchanged for fabulous items at the beach and the rocket punch market. I've also hidden the stuffed animals in other places too, so do your best and look for them! If you find them all, surprise! Surprise! What? Never mind, I should just go. This room has a lot of windows. They probably wanted it to feel tropical and open. Oh well, this isn't really the time to be grateful for that. <laughs> oh. This bed is pretty comfortable. You don't have any blankets or pillows, dude. Huh, I guess there just isn't anything there. Nope, nothing. There's a room for showering beyond this point. It's really large and it looks easy to use, but I've never really felt comfortable showering. Wait, what? Hinata, what? <laughs> well, it's this kind of situation after all. What? Maybe he like <laughs> prefers bathing. I yeah. guess. Yeah. Well, we shall leave this episode off right here. Thank you guys for joining us and see you next time. Bye bye. 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 Kisol is trying to get you to come look at something outside the wagon. Well, go, what are you waiting for? <laughs> Reader, please go see what he wants. As always. You excuse yourself and follow the imp into the dark of the night. You killed your rub all your money. <laughs> <laughs> all your 67 coins. <laughs> You find Ray and the lone minstrel already gazing up at the stars. Can you not read the stars yourself then, Mr. Minstrel? I fear it is not so simple as matters of can or cannot when it comes to me, Ray. We shall see what the reader has to say, for this is their charge. And here they are, in fact. Thank you for fitting them, Tiso. Tiso is happy to have obliged the obliged the lone minstrel. Reader, it will seem the skies have cleared to some extent. Please look upon the stars and see where they compel us to go next. You look towards the heavens. Seek now your destination. <laughs> <laughs>